Hey guys, Base Boy Six Ten here, back again with another scripting tutorial. And today I'm going to teach you how to make chat commands. Let's start by adding a regular script at the server script service, and let's rename this to chat commands. Uh, let me type this right. Okay. All right. Let's start off with getting the player when they join the game. So game dot player dot player added colon connect function player. So this just gets when the player joins the game and who the actual player is itself. And player dot chatted colon connect function message. So this just gets whenever the player sends a message. Now we're gonna do message equals string dot lower message. So whatever the message is, it doesn't matter how it's typed, it's it's still the same message. And if message equals equals test, then print testing worked. Let's test this out, shall we? All right, so let's go here and type test. And as you can see in the output, mine says testing worked. Let's try this again. Test. Oh, my bad. Test. As you can see, it says testing worked times two. Let's make this times three. And now it is times three. All right, so the next thing we want to do is actually get a command. So slash speed. So slash speed, we can do speed equals let's say 50 so this will make us walk very fast so if we go over here and type slash uh, right now right now i'm walking at a normal speed let's type slash speed i am now walking fast i'm walking faster okay this let's do if message equals equals slash jump power or or gravity let's say uh then what we can do is just copy this and we can just set this to whatever we want. So the default jump gravity is actually 50. So we could set this because it's zero gravity to maybe like 200. Yeah, we can do that. And now let's just do respawn. So we just we just want to die. So that humanoid that health equals zero. So that'll just automatically kill hacks and all. And now let's do God. So what we're gonna do is max health equals just a bunch of nines. And then uh, we're gonna do player dot character dot humanoid dot health equals. So I didn't mess up here. I meant to say um, your health equals a max health. So you can copy all those nines and paste it where it says health equals. Oh, and let's actually make a variable that says local respawn equals false. So respawn equals true. So here, if respawn equals equals false, then this is what we're, equals equals false. Then uh, we're gonna do while true do, or while wait point zero one do. I did mess up one more time. Now where you see this circle, and there should be like text beside it, you wanna replace whatever is there with that text. So let's really quick make a damage part over here. And let's just give it a really quick basic script. So script up here, that function, connect function. So whenever it's hit, then we're gonna do if hit then local player, so game player, get player from character hit the parent. If player then player dot character dot humanoid dot health minus equals let's say twenty five. And let's check our humanoid. So let's test all these other ones we've actually done. So slash I think it was slash respawn. Yeah, so that kills us. Slash speed. Okay. And then slash gravity. Oh, okay. I, gravity's broken. We'll fix that in a second. And then humanoid. Let's okay. So here's where we want to make sure this works. So let's do slash god. There we go. So no matter how much damage we take, it will always have no effect on us. So let's actually fix this jump power because I know how to fix it. We 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 forgot to make this dot jump power. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one for another tutorial. Bye!